Hey, this is Shiley, and you're watching Eat, Breathe, Bugs. Hello, everyone. I'm going to Barnes & Noble, and I'm so excited. And I said, you know what? I'm going to bring you all along with me because you deserve it. I love you all. I hope you're all doing well. For those of you who are Jewish and are celebrating Sukkot, happy Sukkot. It is a break day, and I'm going to go Barnes & Noble. going to do that thing. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and let's go. We begin on the escalator. I always film on the escalator. I usually get a comment on every Barnes & Noble vlog of people asking where I am. I'm usually at the one in the Grove in LA. Um, one time I filmed at the one in Glendale. Here we are! Time to go inside. And the door's already open for me. Woo -woo. Very nice. Of course we must sanitize. Cute. So right when I walk in, this is what I see in this book I haven't heard before, but the cover is very pretty. It takes place in Washington and in Bangkok in dual timeline. That's cool. And of course, they always have this section now. Very cute. Hardcover bestsellers. It's a cool uh, cover. I don't know what it's about, though. This is usually more like nonfiction and adult, which... I don't really read much of, but for those of you interested. Oh, I have heard of this. Ooh, a kitchen mystery. First book in a new culinary cozy series full of sharp humor and delectable dishes of one which might just be killer. That sounds so good. I like the cover too. This is Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Manansala. Cool. So yeah, I always love when I come here just recommending books to you guys that I've read, but also just showing you books that look interesting, sound interesting, that I haven't heard of before. I always love filming this part because people get really excited by how big this Barnes & Noble is. This Barnes & Noble is three floors. So for those of you who don't know, mostly downstairs are movies and music. And then up here are more like cookbooks and self-help books. Oh, look at that, book talk. I think this is more psychology and whatnot and book talk that's fun oh look justin baldoni and then the third floor is um is young adult new adult middle grade um the book annex which have like discount books so let's go to the YA section and the new adult section um i think there's a literal middle schooler here who's buying the deal by l kennedy even I haven't read that because it seems really spicy, but I think she's literally in middle school. I'm sorry, that's a little bit alarming to me. Like, I feel like she's a little bit too young to be doing that. Um, that could just be my opinion, but... Girl, maybe she doesn't know. Also, as always, I'm sorry if the sound's not perfect. It's just that there's a lot going on here and I can't exactly filter out all the background noise without making my voice sound really weird, plus I'm wearing a mask. Let's check out some of these tables. New in paperback. Oh, that's so pretty. I honestly barely heard of any of these. I've heard of anxious people, but I have not read it. Our monthly young adult pick, lyrical and limbed with magic, a gorgeously crafted alchemy about the lush world you will wish for real. Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. I've never heard of this. And she also has a duology already out. Cover's pretty. Reese's Book Club. She has taste. One of the best books ever. Love this book so much. Book Club pick. New releases. Here, so the clip pick is Matrix by Lauren Groff. This cover looks really cool. It looks kind of dated. And Harlem Shuffle. I haven't heard of either of these, but author of The Underground Railroad and The Nickel Boys. This is so funny to me. Like a few months ago, this was never, maybe a year ago, this was never a thing, but it's so exciting. So hashtag trending. I, people keep talking about Cersei. I haven't read it yet. Never Let Me Go. I read The Remains of Our Days. Is that what it's called? I like that one. Mexican Gothic. I think that's a horror novel. Song of Achilles. Tarantino. I love these themes they have. Like, everything seems fine. What could go wrong? I have these here. Okay, that's really creepy. Dark Academia. Oh my gosh, I literally love that. They're, these people are definitely on the internet. Um, 
That looks so sick. That looks so sick. What is this about? Ace of Spades. How do you stop an unknown enemy? A figure approaches the door and the distorted smile and pale skin of the mask come into view. Ooh, harrowing, breathtaking, unable to put down. What oh, to debut? This is such a sick cover. I have this. I still need to read it. I've heard really good things. Of course, always gotta check out the rom com section. Oh, that looks so cute. I haven't heard of this. On Location by Sarah Ishavara Smith. TV's top outdoor travel channel. Alia Dunn is gonna do a series about Utah's national parks and then she meets Drew Irons. He ghosted her, ooh. Ooh. Battle Royal, Battle Royale. The King of Cake is about to lose his crown. I love these baking and cooking books. Witch, please. These look like so much fun. I need to read that. I read the beginning and I loved it so much. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this. The Matzo Ball by Je Jean Meltzer. Of course, we love people we meet on vacation. And there are just so many here to check out. So, yeah. Here we go with the book talk. We have My Love, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. If you don't know what this is about, I'm just kidding. Um... Maybe someday by Colleen Hoover, that one slaps. I'm glad that's getting recognition from Blood and Ash. Speaking of me being glad that Colleen Hoover is getting more recognition, did anyone see that she reposted a video of me like when I was in my car and I was basically talking about how I'm glad that people are noticing her and I said like, oh, I'm not like one of those Nirvana fans that says like list 10 songs by them if you're wearing a shirt with their name on it, but I'm just an OG Colleen fan and I'm glad people really like her and keep talking about her. She literally reposted it on her story and I was laughing so hard. Like, if anyone saw that and remembers that, let me know. Man, I love her writing so much and I've been talking about her for years. So A, I just want to say, like, I'm not trying to be one of those people who's like, I know Nirvana, so list me 10 songs by them if you're wearing a shirt with them on it. Not at all. I'm just trying to say that I'm glad that a lot of people are finally seeing how incredible she is. Guys, back in the day, I used to come here to see if like Barnes and Noble would start selling Colleen Hoover books and they used to only have like one or two like maybe they had like Confess and one other book and now they have almost all her books they've slammed which is their first book ever I love that book so much this is literally insane and of course we have Emily Henry Helen Wing people really like her I haven't read from her yet Kristen Higgins always the last to know Oh, people have said really good things about these series. I do want to check this series out really badly. People have been commenting about it. That's a really cute cover. Heartbreak for Hire, Sonia Hartle. I've heard of her before, I think. Um, Accidentally Engaged by Farah Haran. Too Good to Be Real, Melanie Johnson. I mean, these all sound so good. I got the first book of this from the library and need to read it. We Love Christina Warren. That's a really, really good book. I really recommend The Unhoneymooners. This cover is amazing. Wait for it by Jen McKinley. I know a lot of people like Casey McQuinston. I have not read. Um, with the shoe bits. Oh, Julie Murphy. She wrote um, Dumpling, which I really enjoyed. Um, this is new. They literally have chairs here. You can sit down and read. Cute, cute. Honestly, I'll just sit here and vlog. So yeah, a bunch of young adult, they have graphic novels. They have, um, like more darker type of stories, sci-fi, fantasy, so many different kinds here. Of course, Twilight we love. My friend Eden just binged the majority of the Shatter Me series. I think she's just waiting for the new novella to come out. I've read the first two and I really like them and her being excited about them makes me want to start the series from the beginning and finish it out. So if anyone else is a fan of Shatter Me by Tahere Mafi, let me know. I love the covers. It's about a girl whose touch is lethal and she gets caught in a love triangle, I believe. From what I remember. The Shadi setup. Is this about Persian people? I'm Persian. Rita, Chitnis, and Milan Rao. It is not. But still. I really oh my god, I love that his name is Milan. Wait, maybe it is about Persian people, but I'm not sure. But it's definitely about Middle Eastern people, which I'm not people. And they were high school sweethearts and he broke her heart. Six years later, he waltz back into her life. She signs the both of them up for myshadi.com, which is a Desi matching site. Okay, so they're Desi. Oh, very, very exciting. I love reading about Desi people, Persian people, just people who are brown. I just love reading about my people. So this looks really good. 
read it before you see it. I still need to watch the Shadow and Bone series. Oh, um, PSA Still Love You by Jenny Han. Step to you and Hanoi. Pursuit of Love, Shadow of Night. There's more read it before you see it here. More young adult fiction. We have One Jew, Laura Silverman. Two Jew, Rachel and Solomon. Love these books so much. This one takes place during Hanukkah. This one takes place on. I think the last day of high school there's a scavenger hunt in seattle between two enemies become lovers are you finding everything okay i am thank you Perfect. and this one i haven't read yet but this is her newer book we can't keep meaning like this i still also need to finish reading the x talk but she's really talented as i always say i love angie thomas's stories i still need to read concrete rose but i love the hate you give it on the come up and i heard really good things about this the summer of broken rules by kl walther and it's all fun and games so someone loses their heart. Okay, it's a little bit of a darker story, but I think it's also romantic. Love Boat Taipei. I love this cover so much. And it always catches my eye. And I still don't know what it's about. She's about to have a summer she'll never forget. Okay, that's literally enough to sell me. You know what I mean? Part of the YA Book Club of Barnes & Noble. Oh, she gets sent away. Educational immersion program in Taiwan. She finds the love boat. Surrounded by prodigies nightlife picking her own future okay that sounds good that's going on my radar that sounds really good children of blood and bone i've heard really good things about i've not read it yet this cover is amazing and i've never heard of this book before it's called if you then me by yvonne Woon. let's see what this is about what would you ask your future self first question what does it feel like to kiss someone she enrolls tech prodigy Silicon Valley. Shocking message from a guy who humiliated her. Ooh, I really like this cover. Ooh. Keep this in mind. There's also the Start Your Next Favorite series here. I read the beginning of Cruel, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and I really enjoyed it. I don't really know what it's about except for this girl and her sister get taken away by a creepy man after he kills their parents in their house and maybe one of her sisters. And they get sent away to some other land with this man. And then there's a guy with the tail. That's basically all I know. I've heard really good things about the pop you are. I'm pretty sure I just heard from... I think that RF Wang tweeted on Twitter that it's being printed again. It's going to another printing, which is so exciting. This is a floppy paperback also. Um, this, I'm not going to read this, but maybe I'll watch the movie because of Timothy Chalamet. But maybe not. We'll see looks very sci-fi heavy for me and don't need a lot of sci-fi i've heard really good things about red rising by pierce brown i think this takes place on mars pretty sure it takes place in outer space um people always talk about this one red queen i still need to read after all this time but victoria aveyard went to my alma mater usc so i feel like i should read a fellow trojans book and people have just been raving about it for years and i know she has a new series out I need to finish reading The Inheritance Games. Oh, it's out in paperback now. I have the hardcover. And because I bought it last year but, or something, but I still haven't finished reading it. And it's about a girl who gets sent to live in a mansion with these four mysterious brothers after their grandpa dies. And she like doesn't know these boys at all. She didn't know the grandpa. She doesn't know why the inheritance has been left to her. And there's like a game, basically, that you're playing this sort of game to figure out um, like why she's there and why the money was given to her when she seems to have no connection to these people. For those SFF fans, here's another look. I love the new Kristen Kishore um, covers. I've always wanted to read this series and I still haven't. But yeah, people really like Grace Ling and the other books. Of course, we have Kara Cass. I'm glad that the selection has blown up. I love that series so much. Um, I still have to read the last one about the daughter though. But I am excited for whenever I get to it. I love how I haven't read any of them yet, but Liz Braswell and Jen Kalanita basically adapt like Disney stories and tack questions on like, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? And then like, what would have happened in that story? Which is really cool. I think this is the new one, which is a Rapunzel story. What once was mine. The Book Thief, which is a Holocaust story that I've yet to read actually. We love Nicola Yoon. Her books are so good. I still need to talk to you about her most recent big book talk section. Colleen, I'm honeymoon. 
This is crazy. These are literally all the books that you see, not only on Book Talk, but on YouTube as well. I wanted to look into more about what this book is about. I want to buy it just about Jewish people, but uh, my people. But it's called The Matzah Ball by Jean Meltzer, and it's about Rachel Rubenstein Goldblatt, and she has a shameful secret that she likes Christmas. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, she became a best selling author. She has a secret Christmas romance novelist career. But then her publisher asked her to write a Hanukkah romance. And then she meets Jacob again, who's her childhood friend. Ooh, but they had a grudge. So enemies to lovers, holiday type of story. Oh, this sounds really great. All right, cool. Sounds good. Well, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and let me know a book that you are excited to read or are currently reading. Bye.